My 29 male, wife 29 female, is trying to push me into sleeping with her friend 27 female. I'm not sure why, and I'm not sure if I should do it. After 10 years of marriage and three children, my wife and I enjoy what I perceive to be a successful marital in life. A long time ago, she inquired of me about if any of our mutual friends sparked my curiosity. I told her that she was the only one I was interested in. She said that she was serious and that she wanted to know the identities of all there. I refused to provide a response. She persevered in her attempts to persuade me to reveal my identity, and I eventually gave up and revealed my identity. She then inquired as to whether or not I would be interested in sleeping with her. Of course not, I said. She then inquired as to whether or not I would do so if we weren't married. I continued to say no, but my wife accused me of lying and persisted in forcing me to say yes to the question. Eventually, I gave up and told her that if I wasn't madly in love with her, I'd sleep with her friend instead. The conversation was brought to an end at this point. Throughout the preceding few months, the subject of the friend has come up several times. My wife, in particular, has been drawing comparisons between herself and this woman, so she'll make a comment about her friend having a prettier buttocks or being more endowed than she is, for example. I'll tell her again and over that she's more gorgeous than I am, but she won't believe me. I have a feeling she was upset by what I said, and she is now jealous of her friend since she has gained my attention as a result of it. Three weeks ago, my wife offered to get me and her friend together for a get-together. What she had to say caught me off guard, and I asked what she was talking about. She then added that she was aware of my desire to sleep with her, and that I considered her to be more beautiful than her, and that she would understand and wouldn't mind if we had a single night of sleep together. I told her that she was speaking erratically and that I was not interested in her friend, and she agreed. She then said that it would not be detrimental to her feelings if I was to accept her offer, and that she feels I should do so. When I told her no, she honestly inquired as to whether I would her friend. Once again, I replied no. I inquired as to why she felt the need to do this. She insisted that it wasn't some bizarre obsession, that all she wanted was for me to be happy and that was all she wanted. I told her that I was unable to have relations with another woman. Since a long time, she has been pressing me to do so, and she has even said that the friend is eager to assist me if I do so. The fact that she shared this information with her friend bothers me. She is adamant about my doing this for some unknown reason, and she isn't going to let me leave unless I agree. My temptation is to do it merely to avoid hearing it again, but I don't want to sleep with anybody other than my wife because I don't want to hear it again. However, it seems that she is okay with my bashing a friend of hers who she is jealous of. This is a peculiar situation, and I'm at a loss for words at the moment. Can someone please explain to me why she is behaving in this manner and what I should do to address the situation? Story 2. My wife cheated and is still cheating. I filed for divorce, but I still love her and want her back. I discovered that my wife was cheating on me around a month ago. It's been going on since January, and she first had feelings for him in December. We've been married for nearly three years. We're both still in our youth, me 21 or 19. Although we merely had a courthouse wedding, I always promised her a formal one. I surprised her with a ring last year now that I was earning more money and becoming more secure, and she began cheating on me three months later. When I found out, I was an emotional disaster, and in my rage and despair I filed for divorce a week later, even though she hadn't left him yet. She subsequently resigned her work and relocated two hours away to live with her parents. Now that I've had a few weeks to cool down, I've realized that I still love her and don't blame her for the affair. Now for my justification. The guy she is seeing was a colleague of hers at the same company where my father and two neighbors work. They were always talking about him and how weird he was, and how he was always clumsily flirting with younger females at work. All of this was conveyed to me before my wife ever began working there. We all cautioned her to stay away from him once she began there, and even those employees who weren't in our inner group were warning her the same thing. But she was fast to become friends with him since she had left all of her other friends behind, when we moved to a new place, and she is a teenage girl who craves attention, and he was quick to recognize and capitalize on the situation. He also has a wingwoman who happens to be a woman. Later, I learned from reliable sources that his wingman makes the young females at work feel horrible about their existing life situations slash relationships, then swoops in to be their hero in shining armor, convincing them to fall in love with him and sleep with him. It all began when I would stop by her business to get groceries, 
and say hello to her to see if she was okay since she had just started her new job and I wanted to make sure she was happy. His wingman then began telling my wife that I was a poor husband and that I was overbearing because I would come in and check on her. As a result, whenever I went to the shop, my wife would pretend she was busy and didn't want to get in trouble, then order me to leave. So I'd ask her when her next break was and see if she wanted to hang out for a few minutes and speak about her day. She'd tell me that she didn't have any more breaks and that she'd see me when she got home and then I'd see her walk out with her partner less than five minutes later, headed to her vehicle. When I searched through her phone, I discovered that the first photo she saved on her phone when they began dating was a Jay Honey Depp quotation that stated if you fall in love with two people, go with the second. Because if you really loved the first, you would never have fallen for the second. During their first few weeks together, he wrote numerous identical notes until he realized he had her in the palm of his hand. This seems like a good moment to note that the guy in issue is 47 years old, my wife is 19, has a wife, and three children. I called his wife a few weeks after learning the news and informed her what was going on. She then informed me that he had cheated on her the previous year as well, and that she was now over it. She informed him she wanted a divorce and explained why, but he denied having any other girlfriends and was battling to repair his marriage. My wife then began telling me that her boyfriend was attempting to leave their marriage, but his wife would not allow him. Then he said that he wanted to purchase his wife a vehicle before divorcing her, which is a major red flag to me because who would say, I want a divorce because I detest my wife, but I should probably get her a car first. I've attempted to explain to my wife that he's clearly lying to her, but she refuses to believe that his tales don't line together. The same thing happened the day after she quit her job, when my dad came home one night and said that random co-worker, who usually talks to him and his friends when she gets off was super nice and talkative to him in the morning, but then he saw her talking to my wife's boyfriend, and after he looked over and saw them, they looked at him and split up very quickly. Random employee then exited the shop, avoiding my father totally. I told my wife about the situation and told her that her boyfriend was starting to tell people at work about what they had done. She asked her boyfriend if it was true, and he said yes, no, she replied, and she asked, do you promise? He replied, of course, I promise, I would never lie to you. And then he told her, you need to stop listening to your husband. He is deceiving you and attempting to mislead you into returning to him. I only want she could see the truth, but I can't provide her evidence since she won't listen to me when I give her instances. And whenever I tell her about anything he's done wrong, she contacts him and asks him if it's true, which of course he denies immediately. I know he's manipulating her, and I know the lady I married would never do anything like that. I know this because she's had a crush on a male friend of hers for years, even before we met, and she's never done anything with him because they respect our marriage. I blame her current partner for brainwashing her, and I know the girl I love is still out there someplace, and all I want is for her to return. I want her to know. I'm not furious at her. I want her to know how much I still adore her, and I miss her terribly. But I'm at a loss on how to let her realize how much I actually care and I'm at a loss as to how to tell her that I actually love her without her boyfriend persuading her that I'm just staying it to get her back. Because I love her more than anything else in the world, and I can't bear the thought of losing her in this way.